Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks Xbox 360 edition. I am Knight in Phoenix. Today I've put together a compilation of gameplay in the Sexton 2, which is the British Tier 3 artillery. And that shot we just saw there, somebody parked behind the rock, kind of shows you that the uh, British artillery does have a higher arc, higher trajectory than uh, some of the other artillery in the game. Now, being tier 3, we do have a pretty good reload time. Aim time isn't bad, it's a little bit slow. The circle does get nice and small. So we have completely played through the Sexton 2 got all the upgrades and enough XP we have actually moved up to the uh, tier 4 British artillery which is the Birch. So this is just some of the highlights uh, a little bit more exciting gameplay that I put together for a tier 3 artillery. Put this little piece in here just to show you we've got like three or four friendly sitting at the road, this side of the railroad tracks, but yet this guy just ran right over the top of the tracks, came over and got me. Well, you know, you can be the best artillery player in the world, you can have the best position if your enemy or your, or your team just lets the enemy run right up onto you. Not a whole lot you can do about it. Well, we did get some damage on that T-46. I just love watching those, uh, I don't know what you call them, the um, rapid fire scatter guns. So we missed our target there as we saw with the uh, tier 2 Lloyd, the tier 3 Sexton has absolutely zero splash damage so if you don't hit the target you're not getting any damage. So we have a Valentine sitting still, or he was sitting still, as I sat there and just waited for my circle to get as small as it would to optimize my potential to hit him. Seems to happen a lot in these lower tier games. I mean, the instant you pull your trigger to fire your shot, the uh, target moves. Now, I don't really get to participate in taking out anybody back here, but once again, there's one of them uh, rapid fire scatter guns. I just like watching them. All right, so we are lined up. He's moving right into our uh, crosshairs there. We take the shot, lands right behind him, no damage. And for some reason, he does uh, show up on the map again. So second shot, second chance. Enemy vehicle knocked down. That's what I'm talking about. You know, you get those guys who drive like they're drunk and you can never hit them. And then you got those guys who drive that straight line and you know exactly where they're going to be in 2.3 seconds and you take them out. Alright, have a stationary T-46. Do what, with 79 damage on him? Enemy artillery has been spotted. He is right on the edge of my uh, reach there. Disappears. We're going to take the shot anyway. Got him. And he is out of the game. Lucky shot? No way. I knew exactly where he was when he disappeared. I pulled the trigger. It was real lucky that he was still there when my shell got there. So, All right, another artillery. We're now on the mountain pass, as you've seen in many of my artillery videos. Uh, targets disappearing. We do do some critical damage on him. We're thinking he's probably still in the same area. We take Find another shot target. and uh, we do connect and he is out of the game. All right, so here we have a numerical vantage, but we only have one non-artillery vehicle. It's a tank destroyer and he's sitting way back on the other side of the map and he's not going to be any good to us here. Matter of fact, if you look just to the left of the screen there, you can see another friendly artillery moving up because that tank destroyer just is not serving any purpose for our team. He is not AFK. Somebody's got to try and spot these targets. Uh, that was I was doing coming up on the right-hand side here. Figure, okay, we have three artillery. The tank destroyer isn't moving forward to do any targeting. Maybe I can get up here get some spots and have our artillery take these guys out. Right now though we have a standoff. I know where they are, they know where I'm at. 
Unfortunately, when I was looking at the main map, this SU-76 decided to move up on me, and uh, I just don't have the ability to turn fast enough to get my gun up. Yeah, I'll tell you, there's really nothing more frustrating to an artillery player when he has to go out and start spotting when there's still non-artillery vehicles in your game. Alright, so now we're on one of those island maps. Uh, I do have a target. I was waiting for the circle to get small. Pulled the trigger. He moved. And actually, there's a lot going on down in this little area here. And it sounds like our uh, other friendly artillery is targeting the area as well. Enemy is making a uh, pretty good, strong push up this uh, western flank here. Causing me to continuously uh, have to move my tracks, which makes my circle grow large. Another shot, target moves, another miss. Alright, so we have a uh, Martyr 2, a Tier 3 destroyer just kind of sitting there. He disappeared. He didn't appear to be moving, so I'm thinking once my circle gets small enough, I'm going to take a shot. Alright, we get nothing, so he obviously did move. And he does get spotted again. Good thing it's uh, relatively close. I got a fast reload. Hope I can get another shot on this guy. We hear the uh, enemy is capping our flag. I am not too far from our flag, so I gotta start paying attention to that. But I did get a hit on this guy, so I'm gonna take another shot on him. Penetration. He stayed stationary. Got another 69 damage on him. Go figure. Target remains stationary and visible. How about that? Of course he did disappear, but that didn't help him out after I pulled the trigger. Took him out of the game. Alright, enough with shooting stuff downrange. I just got detected. I'm actually taking some shots here. Now I need to get serious here for a moment. We hear this all the time and it is very important. And those of you who do this, you know who you are. Please, please, please don't text and drive. The results are never good. So that texter, I mean tanker, takes himself out of the game. We did take another hit from somebody in front of us, so I'm imagining I'm not going to be in this too much longer. Got a whopping 15 hit points. Well, I had 15 hit points. <laughs> like I said, I'm out of the game. Alrighty, we have a stationary T-82. Looks like somebody just took about half his health. I pulled the trigger. 74 damage. Looks like that guy also damaged his gun. Guess you don't have to tell him three times to get out of the way, huh? And there is an example of RNG for ya. Alright, next up, a PZ-1C. He's stationary. Can I get anything on him? Nice yes! Shot. An 88 damage. So, I don't know if I tracked him, but he is still in the same spot. Take a shot and we miss him. Right? It was inside the circle, right? So we're going to chase him down for a little bit. I'm sure he'll disappear. Yep, there he went. Oh, he's back again. Does he remain stationary? Does he remain spotted? Um, doesn't matter because now he remains dead. Alrighty, next up a uh, BT-7. He's got uh, really no health left. He's going to use the buildings for protection as he should be doing. He's just going to poke his nose out every now and then, take a shot at somebody. Little does he realize that I am targeting him, and we down. take his last remaining three hit points, and he is out of the game. Alright, so this is one of the most frustrating uh, encounters, battles that we've had. We did put 23 damage on that, I don't know, I, I don't speak Chinese, Japanese, whatever it is. It's a Chira, Chiha, Chaiha. I'm sure it's lost something in the translation anyway. So we do have a friendly light tank in the area of him, and he's going to be able to keep this guy spotted for a pretty good amount of time. Now he's on a slope, so my circle is going to be larger and longer than normal. He's also using the rocks pretty good for cover. And I'm just going to do my best to hit this guy. Um, the first hit was 23. There's a second hit for 29. Uh, looks like I tracked him. Uh, I saw his icon bounce a couple of times. So our guys are shooting him, but they're just bouncing off this guy. 
I think I'm the only one who's damaged them so far. 23 on the first hit, 29 on the second hit, and everything else has just bounced. And I thought the Japanese vehicles were supposed to have terrible armor, and if that's the case, then that means all the rest of the guns in here are just really, really bad. Yeah, that's where, where it's frustrating there. I can just almost get this guy, and but just not quite. Critical hit. You know, we critical hit him again. There's no damage taken off of him. I'm guessing we hit him in the tracks. He, he appears to be tracked. He's stationary again. Take another shot. I, you know, I didn't get anything. Uh, I got some type of a ribbon, but it didn't really give me another critical hit or an enemy damaged bat. So I don't know what happened there. So in the meantime, we've lost our other artillery, we've lost our tank destroyer, so it's just me and this light tank. Got nothing else to shoot at at this point, and if this guy feels safe and starts pushing forward, um, I'm going to be a goner for sure. I'm not that far away from him. See, I can get a shadow with those rocks, but he has to be back a little bit. Um, so now I am detected, uh, yeah, somebody's coming up on the left, as soon as I got detected, the guy on the right took a shot, and I believe that may have even been their artillery who finally finished me off. So yeah, as soon as I got detected, everybody shot me. Alrighty, on to the next game. I have a T-60 sitting stationary, take a shot at him, and we do some damage. Move over to the island where we have a, a T-46, and uh, somebody else has got a buddy down there. We do 105 damage. I think that's the highest damage I've seen this gun actually ever do on anybody. I am using the high explosive rounds. Uh, I think they're supposed to get um, oh, around 200 damage, but that's if I penetrate. And I think the penetration on these things is like, I don't know, maybe in the 20s or 30s. Alright, so that T-18 happened to be where my shell landed and we took him out of the game. Still have this um, T-46 dancing around up here. We're going to take a really fancy shot there. Um, and it paid off. We got him. He's out. Alrighty, on to our next target. We have a uh, SU-76. Now remember, my aim time is 5 seconds. I'm sure that's already been 5 seconds. All right, stay there. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. I swear there's something in this game. As soon as artillery takes a shot at you, it gives you a warning and everybody just moves. And this is what happens when you are the last vehicle left in the game. Alrighty, next map. We have plenty of targets down there. We're waiting for our five second reload or five second aim time to stop aiming. Take a shot. We, hit them hard. we do about 90 damage on him and we also track him. That's odd. I just hit him. Somebody else just we hit him, him, but he off. still managed to somehow disappear. Fortunately, he appeared to remain tracked. Took another shot and took him out of the game. Now that's a nice tight circle. Oh, that's a good one. Now that was almost a full health T46 and we one shot killed him. All right, have a uh, Valentine 2 who's getting, uh, looks like, beat up pretty good by our friendly down there. Take a shot on Enemy him. What's that, 72 damage? That's a little discouraging when you see your medium tanks doing more damage on the enemy than you are as artillery. So a whole bunch of guys cluster together. I figure I'll take a shot. Uh, did hit something. I don't know what it was that disappeared. Alrighty then, back on Mountain Pass. This is actually one of my preferred positions when we spawn in the north. Get all these guys who sit down here at the bottom of the hill and we just pick them apart with the artillery. We do manage to put some hurt on somebody there. Target's still down there. We are reloaded. And we take out a target. Alright, as our guys push forward, targets to the south start to show up, so we just uh, basically follow them and start trying to hit these guys. What do you think the chances are that he was going to move as soon as I pulled my trigger? Okay, so he's backed up. We're going to follow him. Our circle is incredibly tight around him. Um, okay, critical hit. 
He's probably tracked, but maybe he's not tracked. So as long as he's visible, as long as my circle is nice and tight, we're going to stay on him. And, uh, well, you know, how you land one foot behind a vehicle without actually hitting the vehicle is interesting. I mean, it, the shell really had to go through him to land that close to him, didn't it? So it does maybe give a little validity to my thought that the artillery, uh, the British artillery shells really do fly high and come down at a much straighter angle than a flatter trajectory. That's the only way I could think I could land a shell that close to a vehicle behind it without going through it and actually hitting them. But you know, sometimes it's all about being patient and persistent. Got him. Yeah, he is out of the game. So we do have an Artie down there. Circle small. He gets taken out before I can take Victory a shot. Is ours. And we win that game. So that is it for the uh, Sexton 2, the Tier 3 British artillery. Yay! <laughs> You know, actually having a like seven second reload and a nice tight aiming circle on artillery, it's a lot of fun. Doing 20, 30 damage when you hit them and you have to hit them to do any type of damage, eh, not so much fun. Alrighty, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate it if you would click the like button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you and I would love to reply. If you haven't already subscribed, please feel free to do so. You'll get notifications of when I post new videos. And as always, I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.